I made in home easy class this afternoon. Um, I'd understand if you were offering me cake. Well, too bad. Today's home easy menu was fried vegetables. How humorous. I didn't expect to receive fried vegetables in a Tupperware. I... I will bake sweets at another time. You don't have to do that for me. Hey, is your shoulder really alright? Seriously, don't worry about it. Okay, good. Nanakuma. My name is Tomoya Kasai. I'm an ordinary high school student. Yesterday's game kept me up too late, and since I was tired, I wanted to take a nap at my secret spot on the roof during lunch break. I headed to the stairs. Then, I heard conversations from above. How many times do I have to tell you that? I am not interested. Get it through your head. How come? You should value yourself more. People will treat you much better if you dress properly. No, I don't care. I want to wear what I like. I don't want to hang out with people who judge me by what I wear. Why do I have to be the same as everyone else? Because you're wasting opportunities! Huh? It's a waste of my time to butter them up. Oh god, they're arguing. I don't want to be a part of this. While I was going down the stairs... It matters! I'm telling you the truth for your own sake. Why won't you listen to me? That's none of your business. I don't want your advice. What the? Hmm, this doesn't sound good. I was about to leave, but I got a bad feeling and decided to head up the stairs. Then the girl lost her balance and it was about to fall down. I dashed up the stairs and caught her in time. Uh -huh. Ouch. Well, I think guys should never ever yell at girls. Oh, I'm sorry. I get what you mean to some degree. But, even so, you shouldn't do it. Sorry for dragging you into this. It's fine. It actually hurts. But, I guess it's better than have her falling down the stairs. Well then, I gotta go. Oh, um, sorry again. I mean, well, I pretty much did it on myself. You all right? Huh? Me? Yeah. That's good. It's better not to argue like that. After that, I left. I didn't take a nap, and my shoulder hurts now. This lunch break has been one thing after another. Oh, it's a gyaru from my grade. Whew, scary. Hey, hey. Hmm. Hey! Hey, you! Huh? Me? Yeah, you! Don't ignore me! I thought you were talking to somebody else. Mm. I didn't mean to ignore you. My bad. Well, I was the one who stopped you so suddenly. Oh! She's the girl from lunchtime. I didn't notice. I bet I know why she stopped me. No worries. Huh? Oh, sorry. I thought you were worried about my shoulder. Or was I wrong? Am I too self-absorbed? No. You were right. I was. Then it's fine. Just like I've said. You wanna take home some fried vegetables I made in home easy class this afternoon? Um... I'd understand if you were offering me cake. Well, too bad. Today's home easy menu was fried vegetables. How humorous. I didn't expect to receive fried vegetables in a Tupperware. I... I will bake sweets at another time. You don't have to do that for me. Hey, is your shoulder really alright? Seriously, don't worry about it. Okay, good. She left me with a big smile on her face, and I had a Tupperware in my hands that's filled with fried vegetables. 
Strange girl, but likable. And she had a cute smile. I brought back the Tupperware home. Sup? Huh? Your fried vegetables were good. Thank you. Sure. Here's the container. Mm. Well then. Yeah. Bang! Whoa! She knocked out my knees from behind and I was about to trip. You scared me! What was that for? He's a cocoon. I know that. You look out of it. To suddenly do that is dangerous. Um, my bad. So, what's up? Was the container not properly washed? Huh? It's all good. It was nice and clean. Then, why did you do that? Hmm, I am not sure. If you're not sure, you shouldn't be doing that. Okay. You definitely don't look like the complacent type. Is that so? Yeah. I wouldn't think you want to speak to someone like me. It's because you are a good person. What? I didn't do anything special. You stuck up for me. Well, I can't overlook a girl about to fall down the stairs. I know you are a good person. She has such a cute smile. So, you really don't have anything else? It's getting dark. I'll walk you home. Are you serious? No need. It's my fault that I waited for you without asking. It's not safe for a girl to walk in the dark alone. If you say so, thanks. She smiled with her head down. I was already falling for her at this point. My friend told me that her name is Rei Hikawa. She doesn't hang out with girls much, and girls in her class have little interest in her. I'm not interested with Garu girls in general, but I like her. She's really a nice person. She cared about me on the day we met and gave me fried vegetables. <laughs> fried vegetables? It's still weird. I just realized she was all I could think about. Next day, on the way home, someone tapped my shoulder. This someone poked my cheek when I turned around. Ouch! What the? What are you doing? Yay! What? Are you a child? I am a Garu. I can see that. Then don't ask. <laughs> Her smile is cheerful today too. So, what's going on today? I baked a cake. Huh? You said cake is more ordinary. Uh, I guess I did say that. Yep, you did. So, you baked. Yep, I sure did. Thanks. You're good at believing in people, aren't you? Huh? You see, I am a Gyaru, right? Well, yes. It sounds strange coming from me, but don't you think I don't seem like a person who bakes? True. See? But you believe me without doubt. At least you didn't show it, which feels kind of strange. Even if someone is a Gyaru, I wouldn't think it's fair to judge them by their looks. Then again, I may think cooking is not her thing if her nails are long and fully decorated. But you believed I baked this cake. Well, that fried vegetable was good. And your nails are clean and not too long. <laughs> Good observation. And you're quite mature, Hikawa-san. For real? You brought me fried vegetables to show your appreciation. And you used honorifics when calling me by name. Mm, yeah. I think you're pretty down to earth. Weird. As I thought. <laughs> Is that so? Oh well. I walked her home that day too. She said, see ya, and walked into her house waving her hand energetically with a big smile. As for me, I opened the cake box as soon as I got home. I checked the box carefully to see if there was anything else in it. I was a bit disappointed I didn't find her phone number. 
Maybe she's messing with me for fun. I was a bit bothered by this thought. But the cake was very good. This left me with mixed feelings. The next day, she wasn't there on my way home. The following day either. I couldn't get her out of my head. So I went to her classroom and called her over during break time. Hikawa-san, did I do something wrong? What? What's that? Why are you looking at me like that? You know, I mean... If I did something bad to you, please tell me. Um... She seems uncomfortable and then she looked down. I heard her sniffling. Oh no! Why? Did I make her cry? So sorry I got carried away. Because you were kind. I guess you were just being polite. What? What are you saying? You didn't respond. What? Respond? I put a letter in the bag with a box. <laughs> the bag? Yes, that bag. I may have thrown away the bag. What? I ate the cake. It was really good. You didn't read my letter? Sorry. I didn't notice there was a letter inside the bag. So, I wasn't bothering you? No way! Oh. I'm really sorry. That was my fault. Nah, maybe I should have made it stand out more. Well then, what did you write? It's a secret. What, for real? That's your fault, you threw it away. <laughs> uh, there goes her laugh. Right. That's a good point. Think on what you've done. I'm truly sorry. Should we go back? Yeah. Why don't we go home together today? Gotcha! She said and saluted. I think she was imitating the way I talk. She follows me going up the stairs. Too much guard down! Whoa! Hey, guys in general can misunderstand this type of act. You can still take it back if it's now. You know? I'm not going to do that. I demand you to turn around and hug me back. Uh, gotcha. Hey, what did you really write in that letter? It's a secret. It's embarrassing. Really? I like you. Uh? <laughs> I wrote that in the letter. Damn it. I really want to read it. When you didn't reply, I thought you rejected me. I'm seriously sorry. Nope, you are not forgiven. As a penalty, I demand a kiss. Oh, gotcha.